Well, in the short run, we have some interesting options concerning the um, improvement of response fluctuations. There are new preparations of levodopa under study, which uh, the one way is to uh, to give, if you want, intelligent uh, pills who have a very um, stable. Um, release of the active compound and uh, therefore can smoothen the um, the response fluctuations. There are also a number of studies trying to, to do subcutaneous infusions of levodopa in order to overcome response fluctuations. This is also very promising and very interesting. Um, on the level of um, surgery, um, there are some advances also in the brain stimulation with new technology allowing to shape the signal um, which is given. There's a closed loop system in, under development that uses signals from patient's brain in order to scale um, the um, signals from the deep brain stimulation. And there is uh, highly focused ultrasound as a means to um, non-invasively do stereotactic surgery, especially in patients with tremor, but maybe also in patients with Parkinson's disease and uh, dystonia. On the longer scale, time scale, I think it will be very important to see what happens to all these studies who are underway trying to influence the disease process itself. There are antibodies who are aiming at alpha-synuclein, the, um, the oligomer that is thought to be responsible for disease progression in Parkinson's disease, and um, hopefully with um, the studies who are now ongoing, we will have first signals that the um, progression of Parkinson's disease can be um, positively influenced by such antibody-based uh, neuroprotective therapies.